looking into your videos, it's your boy Lion Salt back at it with TNA 2017 with Saving Impact Wrestling. TNA is dead. I don't know why I said that. We're with Genesis, the first pay per view on Imp Anthem's Impact Wrestling. And we're gonna just jump right into the show with some pre show bouts. And in a pre show bout that saw Pro Wrestling Heat, Santana Garrett, Brooke, and Candice LeRae defeat Rachel Ellering, Kaylee Ray, and Sienna in nine minutes when Brooke defeats Sienna with a test shocker. Everyone did good. Kaylee Ray had the best. I'm surprised. I thought that was going to go to Candice LeRae. She's average. Mm -hmm. Anyone improve? Candice LeRae and Santana Garrett. Good match. Good match. 25E in a terrible show. Nixon Newell defeated Madison Rain in five minutes by pinfall at the Walls Destroyer. Nixon Newell's getting better at a gimmick. She had a 39. Madison Rain's leaving, so I buried the shit out of her to get Nixon Newell a little better. And Nixon Newell is improving. Then in our final pre-show bout, in about that subpar wrestling heat, Andrew Everett defeats Trevor Lee in 12, in 11 and a half minutes by a shooting star press. After distracting from Shannon Moore, after Gregory Holmes tries to attack Andrew Everett. They got both a 40, 40 and 41. I had to end this storyline because Gregory Holmes decided that he's going to go to New Japan Pro Wrestling. On a written deal, so I won't be able to use him. They, scold, they scooped up Gregory Shane Holmes, and now I'm sitting here like, oh, crap. But anyways, we're going to have 39D Mars, and we just have a video package opening of Genesis. Now, first match. Uh, yeah, continue. I don't know who's... Leo Rush in, faces Donovan Dijak in a 39D minus, where Donovan Dijak defeats Leo Rush in seven and a half minutes by illegally using the ropes for leverage. Uh, Donovan Dijak is out of his game for 35. <laughs> See it. Donovan Dijak advances into the TV title finals. But who will he be facing? In a 49 deep plus, Jay Lethal defeats Tyrus by pinfall with a lethal injection. And he got a 62 and the match got the crowd hotter. Good, good. Anyone improving? Jay Lethal's improving still. Then after the match, Donovan Dijak comes out and attacks Jay Lethal and lays him out with the feast your eyes. And stands over and says, I'll see you tonight for my title. So yeah, the final match is happening tonight. Finishing this tournament. But it's not next because EC3 comes out with a broken hand. Cast on his broken hand and says, you know, Jack, Jack, Jack. You're lucky that I am hurt because I will continue the beating that I gave you last week. You see, this is my show. This ain't your show. This isn't the days when someone could come and just take over and announce themselves with a big dog on campus. No. This is EC3's show. I've carried this company on my back and I will continue to do it whether I have a broken freaking hand or not. But tonight, we were supposed to face each other in a rematch, but because I kind of hurt myself punching you in the face, I got a replacement. And out comes the Monster Abyss. Tonight, you will be facing a monster. Someone like anyone you've ever faced before. And then, in a... 37 D minus in the belt that subpar wrestling will heat. Taryn Terrell returns and defeats Rosemary Jade and the returning Jessica Havoc in 10 minutes when Terrell defeats Jade by pinfall with the Taryn Cutter and she wins the Impact Wrestling Women's Championship. Jade hurt herself. Oh good. Oh good. Taryn Terrell the best. And uh, the finish of the match here is that. Taryn Terrell was sizing up Rosemary for the Taryn Cutter. And Jade pushes her all the way and gets hit with it and pinned. But saves Rosemary from losing. She loses her title, but she doesn't get hit with the mat. 
with the, the move. And after the match, Rosemary and Crazy Steve carry a fallen Jade out to the back of the arena. Jade's slowly showing that she's a part member of Decay. So let's hopefully she's not out too long. Then we just have a 43D video package of Drew Galloway and Lashley and their world title match later tonight. And then in a 59C in a decent match, Jack Hager defeats Abyss in 13 and a half minutes by pinfall. And they got the crowd harder. Hager got a 56. Abyss had a 52. Rosemary and Abyss are an awful pairing. It might end that part of decay. And he, Jack Hager's improving in rumble skills. But after the match, EC3 comes out. He starts just beating Hager in the face with his broken hand. Just beating him down. You know, like Bob Orton used to do when he had the broken hand. Or just beating him in the face, beating him in the ribs, beating him down with it. Standing over him at the end. Doing the, what I think is the coolest thing ever, which most wrestlers have done when companies are all bleeding. Takes the blood from his cast and just wipes it on his chest. And then just stands over him. And then in a 46D in a match that I thought was going to be better. Didn't have much heat. Decent wrestling. Red Dragon defeats Motor City Machine Guns in 12 minutes. When Bobby Fish defeated Alex Shelley by pinfall at the tracing, chasing the dragon. And they make defense number one of their Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Championship. Anyone improving? No improvements. I like Shelly was above everyone. Bobby Fish was the lowest. That's why I needed him to get some, uh, get him the pinfall. Kyle O'Reilly was off his game and got a 38. Not bad. And then after the, that match, we come into a 50 deep plus and about a decent wrestling, but not much heat. Jay Lethal defeated Donovan Dijak in 11 and a half minutes by pinfall with the Hill of the King. After the match, Moose came in and attacks Dijak as Cody's attacking Jay Lethal, and Donovan Dijak gets distracted and gets hit with the Hail of the King to be pinned. And Jay Lethal wins the Impact Wrestling Television Championship. Donovan Dijak was getting tired. Um, 37. Jay Lethal out of 57. Good match. Anyone improving in this? Donovan Dijak is getting better. And that's why I want to keep him. That's why I'm also going to keep him with Cody Rhodes, you know, give a rub, young guy. I'm good. But I, I got to do this. How many? Three segments. It's going to be bad. Didn't go down particularly well, but I have to do it. And then after that, though, Kevin Nash comes down the ring and says, You guys want to fight? You want to interrupt championship matches? How about you guys fight each other right now? So, in a 52 D and decent match, Cody defeats Moose in 10 minutes by pinfall or using the ropes at leverage. Cody had a 51, Moose had a 42. Moose is improving. So, Cody cheats to pin Moose after Moose cost Donovan Dijak the uh, television title. Gain heat in their segment, too, which I'm really glad. I like the storyline. And after, in a 47D in a match that I thought was going to be in the 50s, 60s, Dave Richards and Eddie Edwards drew in 13 and a half minutes following a double disqualification after Alicia Edwards and Angelina Love come in and attack the other one. Angelina did good work. Hinted at. Uh, Eddie Edwards and Alicia Edwards are good parents. Hopefully they're married. Anything else? 51, 50. It will change how many three segments. Complete the turn. Too many Miyano. Fans become jaded. Suffered. Oh well. They go down. Oh well. Now, but I have everyone what I want them to be. And then after the match, they just brawl the back, beating the living shit out of each other. Just punches, punches, you know, the whole. If you've seen Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, how they just punch each other, punch, 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 punch. They do that while they in the back. And then after that, Mike Bennett and Maria come out and they say, you know, big changes are happening. Well, let's go back to something that was great. That's why tonight I'm challenging Matt Seidel for that X Division Championship. 
Because it's going to be a miracle if he keeps it. And then a 58 C minus and decent match. Matt Seidel defeats Mike Bennett in 13 minutes 45 seconds with a here we go driver after Maria accidentally hits Mike Bennett instead of Matt Seidel. Maria is not suited to her gimmick twice. Matt had a 42. Mike had a 50. No improvements. Then after that, backstage, we see Cody and Donovan Dijak come in and just attack. Moose and Jay Lethal beating him down with steel chairs in the locker room, just beating the boots to him and everything, and just destroying him. And then at 49 D plus, decent match. Drew Gallery defeats Lashley in 2150 by pinfall with a Claymore kick, and he wins the Impact World Heavyweight Championship. Drew Gallery folded his performance and wasn't wasn't trying at all. Too long for them to keep an all out pace, all right. But you know, Drew Gallery's gonna have to yell that tonight. You come in, you're gonna win the world title, and you don't care. Let's see. <laughs> that kind of pisses me off. I think I should have kept it on Lashley. But. That's how it goes. We're going to lose. In the next segment, Drew Galloway is celebrating with the world title. You know, this is part of somewhere where Vince Russo will come up with, Drew Galloway, you piece of shit! You will never work in this company again! I think he did a bash at the beach or whatever it was. That's all coming. Oh, Drew, Drew, Drew. When you left the company, it's gonna be a bad show because of it. 51. Donovan Dijak was used too much, but it increased our popularity. But you know what? Who are we gonna do? We're gonna Drew Galloway is getting yelled at, criticized for a poor, ripped into. I don't care if he's mad. He can leave. I'll put the title on someone else. Jay Lethal. It's gonna be freaking awesome. And Lashley told that they're freaking awesome. Uh, get, told that they're awesome because you can see them from there. Yeah, look at that smug freaking face right there. Ugh. Pleased and pleased. And that was Genesis 2017, the first pay per view. And I don't remember when uh, Impact Wrestling stopped doing pay per views. It was a while ago, wasn't it? Um, I am not 100% sure, but this series, I, I'm not sure which one I want to make my main series at this point. I like to have them both, WWE and Impact Wrestling. This one right here gives me a little more freedom, but I can also do a lot with the WWE one, so we're going to figure it out. We'll see. I'm going to go back it soon and look at which one's gotten better responses and everything. Because, and, I mean, let's be honest, they're both kind of generic, but I'm trying to bring my own spin on them. Like, no one's going to bring in Donovan Dijak to this. Something I'd do. Jay Lethal, yes, I can see. Donovan Dijak, no. And the WWE one, a lot of people are going to bring back CM Punk. But the way I did it, I thought it was kind of cool. But... Anyways, while we sit here and wait for this to load, because it takes the longest time to load, when we look at this Michael Richard Blast dude from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Uh, we'll sit here and just talk about how about that pay-per-view last night. If you didn't see it already, go down and look at my take on the pay-per-view last night. Why I don't think it was the worst pay-per-view ever. And it, they have a lot of things that they can do with Book It. Well, let's also talk about Impact Wrestling. Wireless, for anyone who doesn't know, they're bringing back people, they're bringing pe new people in. I mean, it's one of those things where it could be good, it could be bad. But I saw the, I saw something online, Twitter, I think it was Twitter the other day. It was funny. Because it's like, uh, Impact Wrestling becomes Global Force. ROH. Becomes Impact Wrestling. 
um, PWG becomes ROH. Right, everyone's kind of copy each other and be better, and it's funny. Uh, I butchered it, but funny. Let's see how long Jade's gonna be out. Uh, and uh, Oreo reports, so they have to take time off. Let's go here. Let's go to medical. 16 days, not bad. They can do angles, which is good. EC3 still out with a broken hand. What do we got here? And you ever is clumsy. Right. A lot of people aren't happy about that. And this is what I was talking about. Madison Rain hands in her notice and Jane Helms decides to go to New Japan. D. Richards thinks that uh Andrew Everett's clumsy. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Oh, we can delete all those. And that was Genesis 2017. And as of right now, I don't know how long this is going to go. We're going to take a look at our roster. We're going to auto push everyone but Kevin Nash. We will filter. And we will go to push our main eventers, Aaron Rex, who I've yet to use. Cody's in the main event now, who's an upper mid card. Drew Galloway, Eddie Edwards, Jake Heger, Hager, James Thorne, Lashley, and Nick Aldis, who will be coming back. There might be people in here I've yet to use that are going to come. Upper mid carders, Abyss, Alex Shelley, Bram. Baby Richards, Jay Lethal, Jesse Goddard is an upper mid cotter. That side out, and the miracle Mike Bennett. And let's go to mid cotters for last. Yeah, I can see these guys being mid cotters. But now I want to see where they have. Uh, let me close that, close that. Donovan Dijak, kind of my pet project. Project lower mid Carter. He came in as an enhancement talent, so popularity is rising. Southeast, yep, New England is good. I'm gonna look at our title, not roster again. I hit it. Titles. Impact Wrestling Television Championship is a J a lethal. Taryn Terrell is a two-time women's champion. Drew Galloway is a two-time heavyweight champion. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly are the tag team champions. And Matt Seidel is the current X Division champion. Now the last thing we're going to do is our creative meeting. Anyone here surprised? I'm still surprised that Aaron Rex is still there. Next big thing, Grado. I'm not a big fan. Hot Prospect. Sonata, Mark Haskin, Trevor Lee, JT Dunn. Who can talk to talk? EC3. Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal's gotten a lot better in real life. You can see that. Showstoppers. Cody and Jay Lethal. That's going to be good when I go to the uh, Ring Generals. Cody. Who's hot? Drew Galloway. Mike Bennett's were hot. The Wolves. Both of them. Lashley and Drew Galloway. You can do no wrong false. Who's not? Anyone here that I need to help? Not really. Time to climb. I don't really use either of them. And who could be some hidden gems that we can bring in? This it, it likes to break right here. Because I know Terran Terrell was one. Alright, here we go. Uh, Velvet Sky. Colt Cabana. A Callahan Death Machine. I thought about it, but I don't have anything, and I don't want to bring in people if I don't have anything. Leva Bates and Damian Duke, Adam Rose, Aldo Rose, Kruger, whatever the hell he wants to be called, and Finance. We have been making money. Four hundred seventy-three thousand two hundred and ninety-six. 
We made money. All from TV revenue. I'm proud. I'm proud. All right. But that is going to do it for Genesis 2017. And hope to see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. And I am out of here.